The Analog Duo FPGA-based TurboGrafx-16 clone system went on pre-order last week for $249, and I'm not going to get one. Here's why. Because I have a real NEC PC Engine Core Graphics from 1989 that I got on Sendico for $87, and I have a Super SD System 3 Pro by Terra Onion that cost me roughly $270. Now, don't get me wrong. The Analog Duo is a pretty sweet FPGA modern alternative to the original NEC PC Engine hardware. It's not for me, since I'm currently into original hardware supplemented with FPGA optical drive replacements and other tech. And I love my CRT TVs. When I got back into collecting original hardware, I ordered a Super SD System 3 Pro instead, and I have zero regrets about it. I actually had a TurboGrafx-16 in junior high, and I did a lot of dumb things in junior high, one of which was I sold my TurboGrafx-16. And when I was 16, I won a scholarship and got to spend a month in Tokyo. So I got to see the late 80s and 90s Japanese video game boom in their heyday, and my life was changed forever. I also could have collected for the Turbo Graphics back in what I call the Golden Age of Retro Video Game Collection. That is the late 90s to 2010, which was back when classic retro video games from the 80s and 90s were just considered old before they were considered hip and costly. I like the fact that it has a built-in Super System card and an arcade card. A lot of people who have collected PC Engine or TurboGrafx-16 and have a big library of games on hue card and CDs could get a lot out of it, especially if they have a system that has a dying optical drive or leaky capacitors that haven't been replaced yet. Using modern FPGA-based hardware and built-in Bluetooth is nice also. They are going to sell a ton of these in Japan where a bulk of PC Engine nerds live. It is at a good price for $249, and that is way, way cheaper than getting a real NEC-made Turbo Duo these days. It is a great option for gamers who already have PC Engine and TurboGrafx-16 games and want to play them on a new, reliable, modern system that can output crisp HDMI video for modern LCD displays. Accurate FPGA recreations of unique consoles are nice, and I'm sure that it has scanline emulation display options, but that brings me to my next topic. What I don't like about the Analog Duo. No analog video. There is no analog video output, so you can't hook it up to a real CRT TV. This is a real deal breaker, especially since the company is named Analog. That is like calling your company Taco Bell and not selling tacos. Japanese video games made in the late 80s to early 90s had some of the best hand-drawn pixel art ever made. This pixel art was designed to be displayed on CRT TVs and were produced on analog computer monitors. Simply put, this era of video game graphic art does not look right and does not feel right via HDMI on an LCD TV. There are no real scan lines, no ghosting, no blurring of pixels, and they are drawn into the mask of the CRT. I'm old enough to remember what sugar cola tastes like, and video game art made during the 80s and 90s does not taste as it should when it's played exclusively on an LCD TV. Sure, some people enjoy playing these games on an LCD TV via HDMI, but even CRT video filters with scanline generators do not feel the same as a good CRT TV. I have my PC Engine hooked up to a JVC D-Series CRT TV via component cables through the Genesis 2 style RGB out on the Super SD System 3 Pro and it looks ridiculously good on that JBC big bubble tube arcade feel with scan lines and zero lag. I can unplug it and take it to my LCD TV and hook it up via HDMI. So my current PC Engine system can do both analog video output and digital video and I can choose between them. The Analog Duo can only do digital HDMI and not analog video. Again, it's like if Taco Bell did not sell tacos. It is a closed system that requires you to have cards and discs. The Analog Duo requires you to have a physical hue card or a CD. 
I'm sure it will be hacked, but it does not support Open FPGA. It probably works well with burned CDs, just like a real Turbo Duo, and it is likely that the Turbo EverDrive flash drive might work on it. There are a plethora of other FPGA systems such as the Mister or emulation options such as the Miu Mini or RetroPie. But the Analog Duo does not support Hue Card ROM images or CD images. Hope you have a stack of Hue Cards and PC Engine games CDs handy. But this is neither here nor there because I don't need to burn a lot of CDs because my core graphics has direct access to the CPU and a bunch of other amazing things via the expansion port bus on the back of the unit. So I have every single Hue card and every CD game that was ever made for both the PC Engine and Turbo Graphics available on a micro SD card in the sleek, sexy blue FPGA based optical drive emulator plugged into the back of my very real NEC PC Engine. The Super SD System 3 Pro is getting some competition in the form of the Turbo EverDrive Pro. FPGA based optical drive emulation is amazing. It is a hybrid between modern technology and 1990s tech. It allows you unbridled access to previously unattainable rare retro classic games using some modern hardware and some original classic hardware. Now, I don't consider using optical drive emulation and flashcards to play PC Engine games real piracy or immoral for the following reasons. Konami made the PC Engine slash TurboGrafx-16 abandonware. The PC Engine was a collaboration between NEC and Hudson Soft. NEC stopped making video game hardware in the 90s, and Hudson stopped making video games and was purchased by Konami. The intellectual property and publishing rights are owned by Konami, who is completely disinterested in doing anything with it. The games are still copyrighted, but their owners are letting them sit on a shelf without making them available to fans. I have a PC Engine Mini emulation console, and I'm glad that we got it, but corporate Konami could actually be doing something with the PC Engine slash TurboGrafx-16 game library, but they are content to make derivative soccer games, money grumming mobile cell phone games, and pachinko games. If they wanted to, they could release a collection of PC Engine games on Nintendo Switch, PlayStation 4 and 5, and Xbox, but they are not. Just letting them sit there, so there are quite literally hundreds of excellent PC Engine games that are out of the grasp for many gamers unless they want to pay ridiculous amounts of money to get the few rare physical copies or look to other ways of playing them. The Turbo Graphics and PC Engine are basically abandonware at this point. At least Analog is doing something with the PC Engine by making a high quality FPGA clone system. The Analog Duo is good if it helps more people discover the PC Engine and Turbo Graphics 16. But for me, I'm good with the PC Engine hardware that I have. This has been 8-Bit Joystick. Like, comment, and subscribe for more videos. Stay awesome. Play Retro. God, what a cat. Seriously, you. Yeah, you.